Hello everybody, it's Satan, here with her magic hands. I'm not a figment of your imagination. I am, in fact, cursed. <laughs> Hello, how is everybody? This looks like I'm photoshopped, what a horrible shot. I want to thank everybody so much for coming to my defense and showing that they're real and that I'm not a figment of your imagination <laughs> to that crackpot that made the whole YouTube channel about me. It just actually benefited me. It made me feel happier that I've got a YouTube channel. Actually gave me tons of idea for merch that I'm definitely going to do a whole line of merch actually not just based on her stuff anyway whatever I bet no more about her <laughs> today's video is about Suzanne Morphy there's a search coming up her brother is doing it and I can't put a map up because I feel like something's gonna happen and that she'll get moved now I don't think the person that did something to her is actually watching me but I can't risk it but I have watched one of my favorite channels and one of my favorite people on YouTube electronic life is paranormal Elect oh my goodness I get electronic medium life is paranormal obviously that's not her name so I don't remember that very well I can't get hold of her right now but I need to put a little couple of clips of some EVPs that she did with Suzanne Morphew and some things that I have found that are really interesting. There's a little bit of astrology, not really too much, but it does match up. And I've got a map going on. Anyway, you have to have a look. Um, there'll be links to the EVP. That Please subscribe to her page. While you're there, before you go, subscribe to mine down there. I never say this. Please subscribe. Hit that like button and the bell to get notifications <laughs> you don't have to you can go through my website and subscribe I send emails every now and then and if you actually if you subscribe through my website and I get to know who you are I can then send private maps um, that aren't just on YouTube for anybody to see that's probably a good idea actually an incentive for you to go to my website and have a look and get free stuff. There's heaps of free stuff on there. I'll have some merch on there soon, um, but also a really good way to actually see a map if you want to see it. I've got to stop using my hands apparently because I'm hypnotizing you all. Let's have a look at this. It is really very interesting and I hope so much that Andy, her brother, gets, gets wind of this somehow. Okay. When this happened to you, Goosebumps, you guys. Okay, so thanks to Electronic Medium Life is Paranormal Spirit Box Session Part 3. Please subscribe to her. I love this channel. It's awesome. So I've shown you a few messages. Now have a look at this. First of all, I just want to line these up. Barry Morphew's Moon and Saturn are in Aries. 16 degrees the Moon. Saturn is at 7 degrees of Aries down here. When he said he last saw Suzanne, 7 degrees of Aries is 
Chiron, the wounded healer, in the 12th house, the hidden 12th house. So here's Saturn, and Saturn we all know is responsible for not good things, is exactly conjunct Chiron in the missing chart. Now the last texted chart, so she texted a friend at 349, um, I'm looking for Aries and Chiron. They're right there in the seventh house of the partner and of the perpetrator. So this is interesting to me, this Barry Morphew moon, Saturn, Aries, and then the strong Aries. And in fact, Mars, like the most responsible point, the most responsible figure, the representative of the suspect. Now, Mars in general is fire. Just remember that. Mars is at 28 degrees of Aquarius, which in on a map is north and then slightly to the west. Then we have a point that is slightly to the east but regardless of that I'm not showing mileage and everything like I said I'm not going to go into that I'm going to show you something different so we'll focus on the general area of 28 of Aquarius the suspect and the fact that the suspect is Mars which is a fiery sign so I went to Google and typed in fires at the moment in Colorado to see where they were. It brings up this map here. They are in Pine Gulch and Grizzly Creek, these two. I thought, okay, well that's quite far away. Salida is down here, so it's about 145 miles away. But there's a river there, which is interesting. Um, so there's two big fires there. Anyway, that really wasn't good enough. So I went on to this map which shows very specific and small fires or smaller fires. Now I zoom in. There's Salida. Now I'm not looking at her house, you know, don't worry about the house or anything. The nearest fire is this one. McClure Creek. It is active and it was started three weeks ago. When we look at the details, McClure Creek Fire, Creek Fire, a creek, Aquarius, Fire, Mars, the EVP, Spirit Box, Fire, Water, the wildfire in Colorado reported blah blah blah, reported three weeks ago, this was updated two hours ago. North northwest of Maysville, Colorado. Human caused fire lit on purpose. Moderate growth potential. Okay, so it's not a small fire, it's moderate, it's growing. It's been active for three weeks. It is two miles, um, sorry, point eight miles, nearly one. One zero. So many people have gotten 10 miles. We got um, 1.2. We're somewhere in between here. This fire is one zero point eight miles north northwest of Maysville, Colorado. Okay, an ongoing fire lit three weeks ago by a human. So I go over to Scribble Maps because I like Scribble Maps, it shows me a lot. So here's McClure Creek and I'm like, oh, I've got, I haven't got Suzanne's house here, but I'm like, hang on a minute, this is that road, the 50 road, and what road's that? 224, I remember that the road that she apparently went down was 225, this one. Look how close that is. The, to the trailhead, McClure Creek is on fire. 
it's in, the South Arkansas River is behind it, and then Lost Creek up the 224 Salida Cabin Rentals and a lake. Now, you know, I know a lot of people will be like, yeah, okay, you can put together anything or whatever. People, there is a current fire just down the road from the house. There needs to be a search. That sounded crazy. How can you search something that's on fire? This is important. It has to be. The amount of times I've seen the same people who I respect, trust and know are real. And I know when someone's real and when someone's a complete and utter phony. Real mediums and people that are dedicated to this work and the astrology led to many different areas. Cabins. Bodies of water. Everything. Everything is pointing here. And what, I mean, what's the chances of, of this fire being active right now, north and north west of Maysville? Are there any current fires near Salida or Maysville? There is so a current fire right near there. And if you didn't look, if you only looked at this, you would only think there's fires up here. No, 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 no. There's fires all over there. So, how's that? Now, astrologically, there's a house between here. We can get a relative area between. Actually, we'll go to the trailhead and we'll do 17 of Aries. Okay, look, we've got some basic directions here going up that way. So, not thinking about the Aquarius that I was looking at, focusing on the Mars, which is the suspect. We're pointing up this way, okay? I don't know what's up here. I'm showing the map and I said I wouldn't... I mean, this is not a proper map, obviously. And I've just done it roughly. But, look, come on this creek uh, the, the fire the dogs are barking now what they, you know they always do when it's right the fire going this way is Aquarius let's entertain ourselves to the cabins 18 degrees of 19 of Aquarius the uh, 11th house cusp. Okay, look, I'm not going to get off the track. Whatever. These cross over just roughly from where she was last saying, where the house is and where this fire is. The con general convergence is around the beginning of Aquarius over to mid Aries. Okay, we covered that whole area, which in those charts I showed you before, that's the important point. Now, I'm not going to show mileage, I'm not going to do anything like that. I just had to show this. I mean, how crazy is that? This was made 31st of August. I'm making this now on the 2nd of September. The fire is currently active in the location. As you can see a forest fire and a lake. From her location, okay? Forest fire, lake, whoops. And I'm sure Electronic will agree that it doesn't have to be a lake, it could be a river or creek or just a body of water. I'm sure she's probably more specific about a lake um, than I would be astrologically because they generally fall into the Pisces category. But um, all of those clues, Ooh, seven, eight, 
I'm just going to go roughly here because I'm not going to give bloody clues away to anybody really, you know. Okay, so we've got really high elevation up here, which I know she, um, she saw high elevation. Oh, let's look at the elevation of this. Because it's the terrain, it tells us. Oh, come on, it should tell us. Look, we've got high elevations around here. 14,414 foot. Oh my goodness, no wonder they're going to need people that know how to climb mountains. Okay, look. This fire, I'm not messing around with these. T you know, 10 miles maybe, maybe it's just one mile. And I know that Electronic and everybody else will agree with me that we can't always interpret this perfectly. Doesn't matter, look at this. There's a fire there right now that's active, started three weeks ago by a person, by human hands, 100% fact that is, and it is very, very close to the last place that Suzanne Morphew was seen. So I just have to put that out there. I'm not saying anything about that apart from if anybody sees it and is going to the search or don't, don't walk into a fire for God's sake. But there's something about that. 0.8 miles north northwest of Maysville. Moderate. Human caused. Been going for three weeks. Okay, guys, chuck your thinking caps on. I'm thinking. I am thinking. And I'm thinking um, that I'm going to put a map up on or through my website. So you're going to have to go join up or well you don't have to join up just write to me or whatever through my website subscribe and then I can send an email to you with a link to a map if you need it okay bye guys